knowing many of my Arab friends mm. all throughout this land, uh, there is two different ways to refer to the creator. A question came in, Chaim, today from Hans from Germany, and uh -huh. he has asked, is Allah another name for the God of the Bible? Well, that is a tachlis, straight to the point question. That is straight to the point. I love it. Um, well, I would say no, and here's why. Uh, okay. No, speaking a, a minimal amount of Arabic, uh, and also knowing many of my Arab friends mm. all throughout this land, uh, there is two different ways to refer to the creator. Okay. Uh, one is Rab. You could say La Rab. Majdan La Rab. Mm. You know, praise be to La Rab, to God. Other Others could say Allah, but Allah has a connotation from that uh, idol found by Muhammad way back in uh, Mecca and Medina. Oh, he waged okay. war and eventually said that this idol is no longer an idol, but it is actually referring to the, the unseen creator. Mm, mm. And, and I have one small comment into that, Hans, and that's that I understand the God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, mm -hmm. uh, to be a covenant-keeping God. True. Whereas in uh, the, uh, the writings of the Muslim faith, the Quran, they, uh, they say Allah will do what Allah will do. He's right. Uh, right. unpredictable. Whereas we serve, uh, I personally serve, and I understand you do too, Chaim, a covenant-keeping God, yes. the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And even to put it, Tachlis, judge the tree by its fruits. Different. Tachlis.